It was an unremarkable day. I went to work, came home, had dinner with a friend. I remember I made tacos and we ate outside on my balcony. I talked about the next networking group that I was attending, career plans, travel plans, just normal things, really unremarkable. However, I would remember this day long after. It was one of my last normal days of 2020. I had no idea what pandemic meant. It was just a word. There was no experiential context. Well, if I was looking for experience, experience is certainly what I got. I've seen a domino effect of unpredicted and unprecedented circumstance. Though unpredicted, these dominoes were already laid out, each one in its different but connected and precarious position. One push, and the entire system started to fall. Each day, another piece tumbled. Medical systems, government, unemployment, wealth disparities, racial divides. At first there was disbelief. There was no way this would or could continue for much longer. That would be impossible. Our 2020 society is definitely much stronger, more advanced than this. After disbelief came acceptance. We started to see the ugly truth. The dominoes had certainly been laid out long before that bad word pandemic emerged. We have now settled into anxiety, constant worry. What is coming next? What is the next precarious piece that will fall? I don't know. What I do know is that the pieces falling are not unrelated to me. They're not unrelated to you. They seem monstrous and system-based, but the normal that we embrace creates the system. The pieces falling, they start with you and me, our relationships, our thoughts. Again, the normal we choose to embrace. My normal was a facade. It was selfish, materialistic, and did not consider the precariously placed dominoes. I lived a life without a full understanding of why it was so important for me to find and execute my purpose. I knew I had a purpose, but the execution? It's not just for me, is it? Instead, it's to create a normal that tackles the underlying but existing issues that I encounter every day. It's to speak up when I see something wrong. It's to create this channel so that my voice can be heard. The pandemic continues to teach me that my existence comes with responsibility. Whether social, economical, or environmental, responsibility does not only belong to those in positions of power, of influence. It belongs to me. It belongs to you. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you.